It is Leap Day, marking a very special occasion for people born February 29th. WGN's Mike Lowe tracked down some local Leaplings whose birthdays only come around once every four years. He's in Batavia with more. Oh, I got a corner. Are we actually going to finish it? Amber Jursa is working on a puzzle with her family. Oh, I actually put a piece I... together. The puzzle is kind of like a calendar. Oop, these might be a match. It takes some work to make all the pieces fit. <laughs> Jursa knows that better than most. She was born on a leap day in a leap year. I'm a leapling. It's really cool. And this is only the 10th time her birthday has actually occurred on the calendar. It's not typically appropriate to ask a woman her age, but can I ask you how old you are? Yes, I am 10 years old slash 40 years old. <laughs> The chances of being born on a leap day are about 1 in 1,461. I don't meet leap day babies very often, so, you know, when I do see another one, it's just that, you know, you have that bond and that, that you know, relationship with them right away. Which is why it's even rarer that this Batavia High School teacher shares her birthday. Do you remember your 12th birthday cake? With Batavia High School student. Just made sure every birthday was as special as we could make it for you. Addie Herman. So I was born on leap day, which comes at only every four years. So this year, it's my fourth birthday. This is the year that you're going to get your driver's license, right? Yeah, I'm going to be a four-year-old on the road. Only about 5 million people in a world of 8 billion have been born on February 29th. What does that feel like? I mean, 5 million is still a pretty big number when you think about it. So is 365.24, relatively speaking. It takes just a little more than 365 days for the Earth to orbit the Sun. In 2021, that rotation put us about a quarter of a day ahead of the calendar. In 2022, another trip around the Sun put us almost a half a day ahead. The next year, we were nearly three quarters of a day ahead. So in 2024, we'd be a full day ahead of the calendar, which is why we add the leap day to correct for all of that extra time and keep the seasons in sync, according to the Adler Planetarium Senior Director of Astronomy, Dr. Geza Juk. It takes 365 and a quarter days to have to go completely around the sun. And so if you have a year that's just 365 days, then, well, you're, you're not quite ma matching. And so every four years, we have to add an extra day just to even things out. What would happen if we didn't add that extra day? Well. Basically what would happen is our year of 365 days wouldn't be quite as long as a real year. And so slowly over time, the seasons would shift compared to the dates. So more than 2,000 years ago, under the calendar established by Julius Caesar, the ancient Romans added one day, February 29th, to keep the calendars consistent. Is there a planetary science reason behind why we chose February 29th or February as the month to include the leap day? I think people just felt bad for February that it's the uh, shortest month. You might as well give the extra uh, day to February. Perhaps it's best to think of it as a gift. One extra day every four years. A moment to slow down, appreciate our seasons, and look before we leap. I tell them that it's thanks to leap days that they get their birthday the same season every year <laughs> because thanks to, to leap days, it keeps like the harmony for the rest of the calendar. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> In Batavia, Mike Lowe, WGN News.